Relationship is sweet. Relationship is straight so. It's interesting. We learn from relationship as well. So you just have to like ready to love. Hey dear, welcome back to my YouTube channel. On today's episode of Life in AEA, we're going to be talking about finding love in Adequate I've seen in the best. I'm a 300 level student in AEA and no one's ever not heard somebody complain about their relationship like one way or the other. There's always this complaint, there's always this fans, like there's always this, I don't know, I don't know. So uh, to further understand the situation, I was talking to some of my friends so they can share their own experience and their own perspective to why finding love, finding love in a way is so hard. That's why it's so hard. Like I really want to do. So. Hello guys. I'm senior like 300 level student of AUA. The face behind Beauty by t -Bills. Hi guys, I'm Esther, a student of AUA, 300 level. I'm face behind Esther and Esther, <laughs> have you ever been loving? Yeah, yeah. I've been in love. Yeah, sure. Okay, yes, I've been Okay. So, is, there, is dating in AUA stressful? Well, I would say it is stressful because it's it's not easy combining trying to like make a relationship work with your studies as well. There are ups and downs, and also it is stressful. Okay. Yeah, same thing. Uh, oh. It's stressful. Okay. So if you have to give your younger self relationship advice, oh well. I would actually advise my younger self to wise up because these days it's not, it's not easy to see someone that would be perfect for you. Nobody's perfect though. So just wise up. Advice to my younger self. Firstly, she has to be careful to who she love. Like that some guys whereby they come to her life. That some free guys don't understand what I mean now. That some people that have bad intentions to us. Uh, and that some that if we cannot know the difference, shall be careful. That's what I'll say here. I've been in several relationships for that. It's not work out. Plus you and how many people are not busy. <laughs> so okay. <laughs> Ah, what in this one? Okay, okay. I remember. I remember one. Ah, it was not easy though. I did the guy for just the week. How? And just match. The week. You know what happened? Oh, make make a speech pretty here. Say, if I go first explain myself. <laughs> the guy come with me. He say he like me. Me, actually, I'm, I don't pass through heartbreak trial. I see them just. Try, try my best. Yeah. This guy came, he was pretending. Actually, I thought I was true, full, like, he was pure. I went for it. Within a week, the guy broke my heart. Ow, what happened? Yeah. No, no, that's no. He ghosted me. And I have, I, I called, called, called. He blocked my number from there. Everything was just like that. So was later, when he came, he, he later came back. When he came back, he was telling me that story that uh, he was suffering. Something happened to him that he was not feeling fine, that he traveled. He came back again. The, the guy came back. I either heard from someone that he was in a serious relationship with someone else. I'm like, wow, guys, fear me. <laughs> fear me. That was my worst relationship in AEA. So since then, I've been, you know. Trying my best. Well, I wouldn't say I have had any worst relationship experience. <laughs> no, I, I don't think I have any. Just, no, not at all. Okay, so Esther, are you in a relationship by right now? Yes, I'm in a relationship. A happy one? Yes, of course. Happy relationship. Okay. Yeah, 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 I'm in a relationship. Very happy, like. Oh. He gives me joy every day. Oh my god! <laughs> no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not blocking or anything. No, I'm not trying to impress anybody before. I don't go. Okay, so, do you think relationship or dating in a way can lead to marriage? <laughs> well, that's, that's a very deep question. 
Well, this thing that I have now that right now, I think a relationship in a year can actually lead to marriage. That is if you are serious. Because relationship does not just work out with one person. Sure. You cannot say, okay, as someone, I want to just work it out myself without your partners. You know, it is not possible. There has to be a lot of things you endure. There should be trust in the relationship, tolerance, a lot of things like commitment. Yeah, commitment, communication, and all. But I feel, yeah, it can lead to marriage. It really can. There are serious guys out there in the so it's very, very, you would see like a lot of them that are ready. Okay. Yeah, you can actually see, but like to say, out of 100, 10 percent. <laughs> Why? <laughs> because most guys are you now. We're talking about you now. Yeah, sure. Most of them, they are not really after the serious girls. Because, like what I've seen, you know, like not in my relationship now, what I've seen outside. Most of them don't they don't they are not looking for something serious for this for the main time. But actually you can actually find someone that you can love that can love you back. Um things can work out. But me in ten percent. Uh, sorry, I would like to counter that. Okay. Not with my present relationship. Yeah. Even outside. There are people that I've seen yes. that like they started here in Nigeria and presently they are married with a kid or two that I know very well. People like how many of them? No, it's 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 not number. If it, it is serious, I said ten percent. Do not say, guys. You know, ladies, we ladies, we are fault too. Yeah, sure, I know yeah. that. So I cannot say okay because guys are not serious or anything. There are girls too that are not serious out there. We can't just put the blame on guys alone. Yeah, sure. It is not possible. Yeah. So I think you need to rethink that and do you have anything to say? I understand my own part. Yeah, there are serious guys outside. Why buy some girls to the at fault? Because most girls now they don't they're not after love, they're after material things like money. Okay. Money. So we are we are actually at fault in some aspects, sure. But in the UAE, most we are not serious. Like, okay, let me not say guys now. Oh, like, thank you. <laughs> so, I'm just saying, but to be sincere, marriage in UAE is hard. It is fine. not. It's hard. It is not. Okay, so there's this phrase that I do hear most of the time. People always yeah. like, I don't know, maybe you're in a relationship with the guy, right? Mm -hmm. And I know you have to like go to his house, like visit him, or maybe say hi to him, something like that. And I always like, I don't know if it's bad though, but most girls are always like, I cannot cook for my man. And that girl is saying, I can't cook for my man, obviously. <laughs> so I'm just like, okay, hold up. What's the right thing to do? If you not cook for your man, who won't cook for your <laughs> Understand? It's no, like, I'm on this one right now. Cause who wants for your man? I don't understand. Oh, but that no for Purita, look at that. Who wants for your man? I know who wants <laughs> that. Guys, the two guys like, especially, is cooking. If you cook for your man, there's this kind of joy he feels when he's eating your food. That you yourself, as a lady, you will be like, you'll be proud of yourself. Yes. yes, yes. So if you are there, I cannot cook for my man. Yeah, I have a pride. Well, that man that would also come and steal it. Don't steal it. <laughs> you see girls that have flat bum bun and no bread, so that's the drag your man away. It's like... Okay. So, like, should it be a limit to the cooking? Like, should it be a limit? Well, uh, to me, if... You know, these days, people live couples life and all. So, if you live couples like that, if you live couples like, you are expected to cook for your man. But if you don't live couples like, if you go there to visit him, then sure, at least if there's no food at home and probably food stuff and everything, there's nothing stopping you from cooking. Yeah. It's, it's not a bad thing, right? It is not a bad thing, actually. Okay. Then, consistency, there are times the lady might be tired. Sure. So, there are times she might not be able to cook. But at least as a lady, you should be able to cook for your man. Only if you're not feeling too well or you don't have the strength to 
And again, sorry, please. And again, you know all the men that you'll be cooking for, there are some guys whereby they don't, there's a way they approach you. So, um, okay, they are your friends? No, not two friends, same thing in relationship. Okay. There are some approaches like your guy actually gives you. For instance, uh, someone just come, you like, they come and cook for me. Okay, like they we, come we, and re regularly, consistently. Okay. Like, okay. like, like an order. Like, yeah, yeah that's, that lot of stuff. That's, that's, You're not this lady. Yeah, that's out of it. You're not this lady. You need to have a pride as a lady. Yeah. You know, that, that pride should be there. But not too much pride, though. Yes. Pride depends. <laughs> Yeah, that so, price should be there. Yeah. So you should know when to cook for your man and when not to. But once he's making it a consistent thing for you to do, just tell him. If he has not paid your bride price, my sister. Hold on. <laughs> you are not a chef. No, not at all. You know be chef. I think <laughs> try to wait to stop. You know, so um other times that guess girls say like most girls always like my professor should not do this. My professor should not do that. So I'm always like, wait, well, hold up. Is it, is it like your boyfriend is telling me what to do? Or, but like, I'm not saying it's bad, though. I just want to know if it's right. Like, I don't know if you guys understand me. Yeah. Like, do you always have to do what your boyfriend or your man says? Yeah, you yeah. It's not in all cases. Okay. There are some times where, okay, your boyfriend now, just like your husband, Abby. Yeah, sure. He's, he gives you advices on some stuff. Okay, that's some okay for instance now you want to go for a party and your boyfriend say okay don't go for this party. It's not good. Let me just say party now. Club. Okay. Like there's some app you understand. Yeah. You have to stay, you know that oh, wow this one is actually correct is right in this aspect. Well when you think that you is now directing your yeah it's having control over you is bad. Okay. It's actually yeah, it bad. To me, I think there is a point at which control in um, relationship should end. Yeah. There is a point at which your guy should know where to stop controlling you. I'm not even saying it is really good for him to control you, but in this aspect of, okay, don't do this, don't do that. I feel at times, if I see something that is bad and tell you, okay, this thing is not good, hey, sure. don't do it. Yeah, that is fine. Then, you know, we ladies too, we have one kind of this is like so I like no big now. This thing is skinny points. This one is that one. But I still feel if your boyfriend tells you something that okay, this thing is not right. Do not do this thing. I don't like it. Just for the sake of peace in the relationship. There are some things. Even if you don't do everything, actually, there are ones that you would just have to abstain from just because you want it to move, to work. yeah, and to work. So. Wow. <laughs> so I have another question for you guys. I still have four more, but <laughs> okay. okay. So most times I hear most people say, um, you know, like I can't sleep in my mom's house. Like I'm not supposed to sleep in my boyfriend's house. I don't want to sleep in his house. Like I don't want to sleep over at his place. And another person is saying, ah, I'm going to my boyfriend's house today. I'm going to my boyfriend's house today. So I'm just like, okay. So what? Is, what? Is, what is, you know, as they did say. Yeah. We even as I've been late to say, as humans, we mm -hmm. all cannot be the same. Sure. That's one thing. So some saying they don't want to go to their man's house and the other one saying they want to go to their man's house. It's by choice. If your man does not want you to go, stay in your house and sleep. Your house not they choose you, you know they push you for house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Only that they push you for house, then you say baby, baby, you push me. But you are home. homeless. <laughs> so, but I don't know. Like it's it's by choice. It's it's by choice because I can't dictate for someone that okay you should go to your man's house or not. Mm -hmm. It's by choice. There's something that you see that make you feel like okay I don't want to sleep there. Or you might just be like okay you know, I have my own house now why can't I stay in my house? I need to go to my man's house. So then there are times like ah let me just go and visit my man and miss him or something and all. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, do you have any contribution? I agree with that. <laughs> okay. So, as ladies or as beautiful girls, you know, it's so like, do you guys really, really get approached by guys? Like, in school, like, in the school environment, even outside the school? Like, 
You guys get approached by guys like Harry Potter. No man, no. Do you? <laughs> when he's not at home, he's going to wash my head. He's like, he's like, I can't go to the river. No, no, no. no. So you? So it's 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 normal. Even old older people, like old people, they still see men that approach them. So you, sure. as a lady, you see guys that approach you. It is it is normal. It's very normal. So. Hey, did you think guys do you think they are scum? Do you think they are fake? Like do you think it is like what your time, your energy? Okay, not all guys are the same. Not all women are the same. Sure. That's some people you meet in life, you appreciate God for being that's your life. Yeah. And that's some okay. people that you regret meeting. You understand? Yeah. Not all guys are scum. You meet some good guys, you meet some bad guys, okay. you meet some spoiled guys. All of this stuff now. That is life for you. Not all guys are scum. Okay? So I I agree with that. Not all guys are scum. Not all guys. Sorry, not all guys are scum. It is normal for you to meet to meet the ones that does not have sense. Mm -hmm. To meet the senseless <laughs> ones. <laughs> Sensible ones, yeah, yeah. It is it is normal. Not all guys are scum, please. Take that off your mind. But one thing is that in a relationship you would you tend to meet the senseless ones first. That's yeah. that's one thing. Yeah. You meet, I you love them that first. Yeah, ah. like it's giving. Ah. You meet them first. But that doesn't stop you from like okay, believing that you can still see someone that it's that would be serious. Okay. So you still need to like try again. We learn yeah. we learn from some things yes. in relationship majorly. You can learn from your first relationship to just uh move on to the next one and all. Just use that as a lens there to make sure that one did not, does not spoil like that or something. Mm -hmm. So no men no men are sponsor. Not all. Not all. Not all. No, because my baby mm. has come. <laughs> Some as well. Not but all. Not all. <laughs> okay. So most times I do hear girls saying yeah. those guys in mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. like, you are cheaters. Like you stupid, you stupid, why is it So I'm like, is it really true? Like are they really cheaters? Do they really cheat? Or oh, she's just overthinking it? Or maybe she just taking things so far? She's actually right. Like very very right. Oh, partially very very right. Yes, that okay, okay. I can I can see your face. I know what you're trying to say. No, actually, yeah, most guys in AA are cheaters. Most, most, yeah. Okay. Have you ever been cheated on? Yes. Okay. No. Oh, you know, yes. No, 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 no. Don't do Like I told you guys earlier, I told you that there's a guy that came to me. My worst uh, relationship ever now. Yeah. yeah. I think that he he was having a serious relationship. And he came to me. So what do you expect him to say? That that no cheaters. Mm -hmm. That cheaters. Yes. Absolutely. He cheated yeah. us. Yeah, and he's not the only one. Right? There's another one again. So to me, oh guys, though might be in a relationship that comes to you just because they see that you have big boobs, big bum bum, they want to, or you they have something to get from you. But guys like that in a way, many of them. So to me, they are cheaters. Well, I won't deny that fact though. Yeah. But I won't say most. So I'll say some. <laughs> most. I won't say most. I will say I'll say some. Most. So most. <laughs> ninety percent of no ninety five. Ah. I'll say ah. some. Because okay. there is one thing is that they are men. They are men. I'm sure. They are very greedy. Oh, yeah, sure. Really? I'm calling. Yeah, they, they are greedy. I'm calling. Yeah, they are calling mm -hmm. as well. So it is it is very possible for you to like date someone that cheats on you or that is cheating on someone with you. Yeah. Yeah, so you would you you meet cheaters. There's no how. You meet people that cheat. Mm -hmm. But it's just because they are not contented, they are greedy. But I don't know. Some. Just some. Not most. Okay. Out of hundred, let's say fifty percent of them. Ninety five. Let's say fifty percent of them are cheaters. Ninety five. Okay, this girl has I don't see shaggy. Premium one. Oh. <laughs> 
I cry my eye red. Wow. You don't want to forget the white now. Yeah. <laughs> I want I want us to know here is that mm -hmm. you need to catch a man red handed like this before you say, okay, he is cheating. Yeah, you might suspect he's cheating, but if it, if it doesn't improve, don't just like Confused. say, yeah, he's cheating. Because mm -hmm. at times you might be wrong. There are times you you be wrong. It is it is very normal. Mm -hmm. But make sure you like have a proof, genuine one, proof that will stand that okay. Hey, babe, I catch you, you did see. Yeah, you were a bad cheater. Yeah, sure. Yeah, okay. so that's and you don't believe what people say outside no, that, 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 that babe I see your boyfriend one gear for the outside. That kind of stuff. My dog's friend. Yeah. Nice. You know, so, yeah. Yes. You know that's another topic. I don't want to go into that friend stuff safe like no, that's that's another topic. Yeah I'm sure just okay. really all right. So do you guys believe in this kind of using tubby dumb dumb relationship or what's oh. it called? Like this kind of I don't know I, I don't have advice word to use this kind of I don't know. Let's see all in affection or romantic yeah, it's possible to find a guy like that yeah because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. i know most girls are this kind of people that they want this yeah. kind of affection yeah. 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 i don't feel like that yeah. are you like that yes ah are you that kind of girl i'm just this ah. girl there's there's no girl that does not like attention. Yeah, but sure. the way the way we want it is just is My different. Friends, yeah. yeah. My own perspective. Yeah, the way we want it is different. Some people like they can die for attention. Mm -hmm. For me, please just imagine any reason why you're not here. <laughs> oh yeah, no, you're not trying to <laughs> just just give me the genuine reason why you're not here. I'll understand. Okay. But I feel attention in a relationship is it's it's okay because girls like attention a lot like a lot like girls that i know that i've seen that i've met even including myself yeah we like we like attention okay. just give us that attention give us that audience let us know we are there then we are good to go can be big and beating ourselves now Mm-hmm. We can date ourselves. Can you just come and say, okay, I want to date you before you know we'll not be saying again? It's not it's not making sense. Oh. So we need we love attention. To our attention. Yeah, attention. <laughs> to me. Then care. Yeah, okay. And affection. Affection. <laughs> and must be there. Okay, so most times I hear people saying, or maybe a guy just like ah. I think he likes money too much, like I don't know, I can't deal with that, I cannot deal with that, that shit. And the girl is saying, and the other girl is saying, my man, my man doesn't give me money, I don't want to deal with him anymore, like I'm tired, I've seen this guy that has money that is always taking care of me, I want to like break up with my boyfriend and like go for him, because I've seen a lot of people like that, yeah, just yeah. because maybe her friend's man has money, mm -hmm. he has something that he's doing that gives him money, and her man cannot like give her money, she's always like, oh god. So like most, the truth is most girls, most girls here to me, they actually like ask her money. Yeah. So I don't know if it's if you feel that same way. Yeah, you feel I, that same way. I, I do feel the same way. In you yeah, like presently, like in this time that we have. Yeah. Money. Most money. girls, please, oh, I need to explain more. Most. most. <laughs> you feel? Everybody you feel? Most. <laughs> most. Most girls like yeah. money. Like I have people around me here that they they cannot date if you don't have money. Yeah. If you know. like make you fight from every shit. They feel like if you don't have money, they don't let if you don't have money. And one thing again is they they feel if you don't give them money, there's no love. Okay. That's the problem That's now in one problem we're facing, yeah, we're facing in this school. Apart from this school, all over. Yeah. Like some girls that after this money, this material things, like it's getting too much. Yeah. That love for money is getting too much. Yeah, we all need money. Yeah, as a yeah. student now, let me like let me say something. Okay, we're talking about relationship in area now. Mm -hmm. Money aspect. As a student, you cannot be bringing your boyfriend for money all the time. Do you know why? They are all students in this place. Yeah. So we are all struggling. Now you know be your papa. Happy. If you want money, call your papa, call your brother. Call your mama. You, that is it. You cannot be using that is like sure. that is like guys are treating with girls bad now. Yes. Because, because like yeah, he has money. Yeah, he has that, is the, that is the issue. That okay. we girls now are polluting this 
relationship aspect, money relationship aspect. If there's no uh, money, there's no love. Love now, uh, money now is the topic. It's like it's the main, the main thing in relationship. Yeah. If there's no money, I cannot give affection. Mm -hmm. That's why guys are treating us. Most guys are treating us in this kind of bad way. Like you understand that kind of stuff. Yeah. So it's not right for us to choose money over love. Mm -hmm. Okay. Some guys, sorry, sorry. Some girls now, they might like someone that don't have money. And they see someone that like they have money. They know that they'll go for the one that have money and this sure, one they like. Sure. I don't know. Well <laughs> So it's not right. It's not right. So me. I don't do shit like that. Okay. Like I don't know. In AU here, girls have been like uh, yes, mm. let's agree to because I don't know any other word I can use. We are whole students, mm -hmm. and AUA, we all know AUA is consuming a lot of ah, Yeah, so so we are whole like, students, we know how this thing is going now. They can yeah, so the money out of my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you know you need money, call your mommy, uh -huh. call your daddy. Mm -hmm. If you cannot call your daddy, call your uncle, call yes. your brother. Most times, now, like most times, you call your parents, they don't have the money. You have, have to understand, you have to understand okay. that okay, these people they don't have money on yeah. them. That doesn't mean you put the pressure on, on your them. Right now. You don't know that so going through. The, you don't know what. Not the one that sent you here to come and learn. We see. They don't ah. know what they are oh. passing through that moment. Mm -hmm. Because only this area you know, say the kind of program they give us. <laughs> okay. As so um yeah. As three hundred level students. Yeah. <laughs> guys, uh, yeah. So <laughs> what advice can you give like other junior students like two hundred, hundred, or maybe some three hundred or four hundred or even five hundred level students that like like new relationship advice or do you what's the doing them to take in finding love in a u a what's the how how do you think because most people always like i don't need to leave this shit in this thing i think i just have to like abstain from relationship or something like that so instead of abstaining or something what step like what advice do you have to give them that they can okay to know okay. if this person is a little bit with you how do you know if the person don't want you have to be patient don't rush things okay that is it if a guy is asking you out, and you know guys now, if they are asking you out, there will be this kind of good, like, be all a, over and yeah, like an angel sent from God. So, you know, you understand. Yeah, you yeah. just have to be patient, you know the kind of person you want to yes. start a relationship with. Okay. That is the number one thing. Then number two, mm. see, don't be scared of heartbreak. I know you can be scared, but if you are like, ah, what if I start to this guy like this and he start playing with my friends again? You just have to try your best. Try it. See, love is just like a um, book, like a book that you read sometimes and you don't understand. You just have to reread it again. Okay. You understand? You just have to try your best and know what is know what to come out from the relationship. If it don't if it not work out, you move try. to the next. You just okay. try. You think that all those married people now out there, you think they just see one woman are married like that? No, they don't do that like that. Just have to try, try, keep. They don't keep pushing. <laughs> you keep pushing. See, so you see the right one. Okay. So yeah, I, I agree with that. I agree with that. Finding a relationship in AV is not easy. No. It's, it is not easy at all. Let's not lie to ourselves. It is. It is not easy. It's so, a process. Yeah, it's a process. You just have to like keep calm. Sure. Yeah, keep calm. There's no you see people that will ask you how it's yeah, sure. like my friend here said, be patient. So I don't rush. I don't rush. I don't rush. No, 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 rush. I don't follow money. It's not that like you should money. you should now like turn yourself to a uh, one someone that will waste someone's time or so. I don't know the word I will use for that, but don't waste people's time. If you know you mm -hmm. cannot like do it. do it, just let them know. Okay. Don't waste people's time. It and again, it's not because of money you start dating someone. Sometimes there will be money and you'll be suffering in that relationship. Abby? Then they beat for relationship. Oh. No, this kind of thing, there's only like uh, one slap, one handbag. I don't know. And that's that like both straight, both one both straight. Then one punch again is what's 100 pounds on your account. The food, food tray can't give you the food Yes, too. happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> So, yeah. choose what is best for you. And yeah, what is right. Yeah. Yeah. So, do you guys think that it's okay to date? It's like, 
the younger colleagues, like the younger students. Because most times I will say it's okay to date like your level, yeah, yeah. or maybe like level your level mates, mate, or maybe like your senior so, yeah. colleague. Okay. Okay. They don't even follow you, okay, like maybe like a 300 level, this is a 200 yeah. level, or a 100 level. Okay, let me answer so, that soon. Yeah. Reverse is not like secondary school. No, no, no. You understand? You might be in 300 level and the person you like is in 200 level. It does not mean that the person is not mature. You understand? Okay. You understand what I'm trying to say? You are dating your junior colleague, does not mean that if you, are, you are a fool, you are doing something that is wrong. There are people out there that enjoy their relationship like that. Yeah. That is what I have to say. First, first, you are in 400 level or 300 level and you are dating someone in 200 level, mm -hmm. does not mean you are stupid and no. No. Yeah. no. Because most times, it's actually okay for guys to date like junior colleagues. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. when it comes to, when girls, it comes to mm, lady, yeah. I don't want to. I don't want to. It's always like... One thing is that the fact that the person might be in the level, in, in the lower level, does not mean... They don't love They don't you. love you. They are not mature yeah. enough to... But they are not yeah. mature. But yes, that's the word. That they are not matured. Yeah. But one thing I would like us all to know is that maturity is not about the class, the age. level, mm. or the age. Yeah, age sometimes. Maturity is not about that. It is maturity is up here. 